Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. Hard one to make, hard one to make this one, because I'm just going to keep it short, and I'm going to put a bunch of links down there. Uh, in, a, in a nutshell, Pizzagate is real. Uh, it is a trap. It's going to be used as a honeypot. They are going to try and make you sound crazy, but what it is is a keyhole. It's the, it's the door to the rabbit hole, right? You look through this keyhole, and you're going to find all manner of things that you wish you'd never seen. But that doesn't mean you can't do you, that means you stop that does not mean you stop looking that does not mean you don't educate self find out about this right here the hermetic principles right the occult the idea that these things this has been going on since before there were Christians or Jews or Muslims and the slave trade the the fact that they I mean the, the worship of the old elder gods and so on this comes from Egyptian times and before some of the greatest uh, civilizations that have ever existed. Now, do you think that their religions went away? Take a look in your living room. Is there a Christmas tree? <laughs> or maybe a menorah? Right? Or maybe a little Quran there? Or maybe, right? You think the, 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 the Satan worshippers went away? You think that the worshippers of the old evil gods are gone and that there aren't any of them here on earth? Well, then you're fooling yourself. There are seven principles here. I'm going to cover them very rapidly and very quickly and, and apply them to the Pizzagate scandal. First thing, it has now seeped into the collective unconscious. It's seeped into the mind of millions. It's not just a few hundred of us. It's not just a few thousand. Take a look at some of those the hits and take a look at uh, when you uh, do searches and so forth, the numbers now. Because it used to be the numbers are in the thousands. Now the numbers are in the millions. People are talking about Pizzagate in the millions. Right? And the more they talk, now they started talking about it, they broke their own rules. Doesn't matter what they're saying as long as they're talking. And now they're talking about Pizzagate, and a lot of those people are going to figure out, oh yeah, there is child trafficking in the United States, just like there's child trafficking in Canada, and Australia, and UK, and all over Europe, and Asia, and Africa, and South America, all over the planet. There's child trafficking going on. Some of it more prominent than others. And some of it, it's, it's actually codified into the culture, right? Slave trade and so forth. <sighs> But it has seeped into the subconscious mind that there is now, in fact, these Satanists that are trafficking children and they still exist. Now, the Satanists claim to know the occult and they claim to know the, the, the I mean, it's, it blows my mind because if you understand the natural law, then you understand what's coming to the Satanists. They have been exposed, right? Correspondence, right? As there is evil, so there is good. As you do good, so there is evil. As you do evil, so there is good. Vibration and frequency. They operate at the lowest, disgusting frequencies. The more fear and, right, they don't operate out of love. They want these children absolutely terrorized. And they want young children because when the hormones kick in, it, it uh, adulterates the blood that they drink. Right? You Christians, you uh, pretend to drink the blood and eat the flesh. The Satanists actually drink the blood and eat the flesh. Look up spirit cooking. Look up some of the rituals. Look at some of this. Oh my God, it will make you ill. Ill, ill, ill. But it hasn't gone away. And you pretending that it's gone away isn't going to make it go away. You pretending that this doesn't exist doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Right? In fact, the whole thing, if you understand that the way they use religion is to create an action in you. Because if you believe that the Jesus is going to take care of everything in the next life, why should you do anything now, right? All vengeance is mine and all that stuff. But no, see, that's how they operate. That's how they continue to operate here. Even you New Agers, right? Just meditate in the secret and so forth, and you hope that it'll happen, and it, it might happen. No, you got to take action. Then frequency and vibration, and then duality. Right? Their entire Eastern religion is based on that one concept alone. Right? And then we have rhythm and cause and effect and gender. By the way, only two genders. 37 genders? Really? They put in 37 genders? 37? That's an odd number. What the hell's wrong with you people? Anyway, there's two genders. I think they're even trying to corrupt that. But cause and effect, see, what you have caused has effect. And that what you have done has equal and opposite reaction. So as you have done evil, there will be good. And now that it's been exposed, you can't you can't stop what's coming your way. The pendulum swings, right? You were operating in secrecy and getting away with whatever you wanted, and now it's going to go the other way. And you can't stop it. They pretend like they can use the higher uh, principles to stop that pendulum. No can. Right? 
as night follows day, day follows night. As it is winter now, it will be spring. As comes spring, then comes summer, then comes fall. It's all, it's here, it's written in here. For everything, there's a season. But see, it's written in code. It's not the literal, you guys want to make it a literal translation. The time to prepare is when it's not raining, right? The time to build your ark is when the, before the rain falls. And you guys now are you're arguing about dinosaurs on Noah's ark. That's, that wasn't the point of the story. Promise. Right? Those codes are, the, and that those truths are written in stories, in parable form, in that book. And I can quote that book all the time. And you cannot speak these, this cannot speak the accent. You cannot talk about these things without defiling this, yourself, your tongue, your own. You, 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 ugh, it's so disgusting. And it's told in here. But that doesn't mean you don't do anything. That doesn't mean you wait for the Jesus. That doesn't mean you wait for someone to act, right? If you see someone harming another, you stop them from harming another, right? It is the duty. And I have taught, see, I have not taught the natural laws to my sons because they're not ready for it. But I have taught them this one thing, and one of the things that I taught them clearly is that it is the responsibility of the strong to protect the weak. Right? It is the responsibility of those that have knowledge to protect those who do not have knowledge. It is the responsibility of those who are good to protect others of those who are good from those who are evil. And in order to do so, you must act and you must have knowledge. You cannot be awake without understanding the occult. Now, Pizzagate gives you a window. See, the consciousness is rising. We're waking up. People are waking up in droves. And you can't stop it. I don't know where it's going, but I know that people are waking up. And I know that this Pizzagate thing has woken a lot of people up. This election woke a lot of people up. And a lot of people started to realize, wait a minute. See, it's not that this stuff hasn't been going on. Like it, only, it only just started happening. No, it's been going on for thousands and thousands of years. Sex slaves and so forth. That's been going on forever. Slavery. We didn't create that in the United States. There were slaves long before the United States ever existed. Right? There were, there were colonials uh, harming the indigenous people long before the United States ever showed up. That's been going on around the world forever. But the idea is now the information is readily available to anyone who will look. Now, just understand, uh, I'm going to make two things clear and then I'm going to quit talking. One, the map. What's a map? A map on a handkerchief. This is a memento. This is not a code. They put this underneath the child. How do I know this? Because I unfortunately watch videos where they in when they're interviewing the, the victims and some of them are trying to speak. And what happens to those people? Those people are uh, often laughed at or ignored. And then they're murdered because they did come out and speak because the pedophiles, you know, don't want to be exposed. But what this is, it's not a, it's a code. You're getting it confused. There is a handkerchief code that allows, like if you're in a gay bar, if you're in, you know, various places where there are swingers and so forth, that, that you can use the handkerchief code to let people know what you're into. But that's not what this is about. What that was about in that email was one of those handkerchiefs that was placed under a child that was being raped. The bodily fluids were collected, the blood and the semen and all the other stuff. And it makes like a map. It makes like, you know, like those things when you open them up and it, right, it kind of looks like a map. And what it is, is it reminds them of that specific moment. It's like when you have sex with your wife or your husband or whatever, you don't remember all of them. You've been married for 20 years. You don't remember every act, right? But you might keep a memento or something. You might remember, you know, a birthday or an anniversary or something when it was extra good or extra. Okay, that's what this is for. God. See, and, and the fact that you're ignorant of it is a good thing, not a bad thing. You shouldn't know these things. We shouldn't have to know these things. We should. I shouldn't know these things. Right? The, the fact that, it, that talking about walnuts, that's not a person of color. What they're talking about, you fools, is the abused genitalia of a little girl. When it swells up and it look, that's what it looks like after it ran. Oh, God, it's just so disgusting. You have no idea. Okay. Educate self, educate others. This Pizzagate thing is not false. This is not a, this is not a lie. This is not some the wild imaginings of the alt-right. Take a look. Take a look at the hashtags. Ask questions. Right? Demand evidence. Think critically. But this cannot be allowed to stand. All right. E pluribus unum. There's so much more. I made a video that was 45 minutes long. But I mean, if you think that this is just uh, crazy talk and that, you know, that our country is good and there are no Satanists and there are no pedophilia, you know, people practicing pedophilia in high places in the United States, for darn sake, for gosh sakes, we're the good guys, then you need to take a harder look at what's going on around you. They have been operating in plain sight. 
And if you want to make money in the child prostitution and so forth, own a pizza, right? Own a pizza place, own an ice cream parlor, own a cupcake place, right? Just, just take a look. I'm not saying all pizza parlors and all ice cream places, but when you walk in there and you start seeing some of the art and you start seeing some of the symbolism and you start understanding what they're doing, if you, if you know the code, and that's the other thing, you fools, you have let them know that we cracked the code. So now they're going to change the code. Right? The first law of Fight Club, don't, don't let them know about Fight Club. <laughs> first law of the people, even when you're investigating somebody, is you don't let them know that you're investigating them. Don't know that, right? We didn't let the Japanese know, hey, by the way, we cracked your code in 1940. We let them know after 1945 that, oh, by the way, we had your code the whole time. Same thing with the Germans. Okay, now they know that we know. Okay, so now that we know that they know, then we got to let them know that we're not going to let them keep getting away with it. Which means that many of you have to tell others and many of you have to demand action from your law enforcement, from your government, from people that are good. Because guess what? We don't even know who the good guys and the bad guys are. They, they will expose themselves, though. And they are exposing themselves in the media. Right? The lapdogs of these pedophiles and these Satanists. We have found in the, I mean, in the Pentagon, I mean, anyway, links below, educate self, educate others, e pluribus unum, check in the Pizzagate, check into the pedophiles, check into Podesta the Molesta, click those hashtags, do some reading. Not everything that you're going to see there is true, not everything you're going to see there is correct, but a hell of a lot of it is, and if it only 5% of it is, it's way too much. Investigate. Critical thinking. Demand evidence. Think rationally. Do not let your emotions get, a, get run away with you, and make sure that you tell others about this, because that's how they operate. This is how they get away with it by making sure that it's so disgusting and so vile that you look away because you're a good person, and so they are allowed to continue to operate because you look away, and they continue to do the disgusting, vile, heinous, atrocious things that they do while you're looking away. E pluribus unum. Educate self, educate others. Hundredth monkey out.